Yesterday, we talked about the return of Mel B, Cheryl and Simon to the judging panel. Straight down the lens, three, two, one. More from them later, but first, time to meet the new face of the Extra Factor, Sarah Jane Crawford, to talk about what's new for X Factor 2014. Why is there five mirrors here? What's, what's all that in Adol? Well, this is kind of like a makeshift rehearsal space. Sometimes I'll play some music and get everyone dancing and just keep the energy up. That's the quite X fun to watch, isn't it? I know, it is good. And then you've got the big screen, as you can see, the Kalmeister. Why is there? Why is the holding area now open to a lot more people than there was? Well, it's a new thing that we're doing here on X Factor 2014, and it's basically to get all of the friends and family in the right place, in pole position, looking at their relatives, but also people that are potentially auditioning can come if they want, drop in, watch what's going on, yeah. be inspired, be nervous, Ooh. be excited. And obviously immediately right now, yeah. the guys that are watching... Does that mean she got in? I would say so. I mean, she was amazing. She so was pretty cool. We'll have to watch really out for good. that one. Something else to watch out for is the return of the slow torture that is the boot camp chair challenge. The person who is going to lose their seat in my top six is... Oh, you two, you haven't actually done the seats yet, have you? You're going to give someone their dream and then potentially have to take it away slightly. How are you going to feel about that? I'm, I'm, I'm slightly uncomfortable with that mm. thought. Mm. Alejandro. I'm going to try See, and See, that's going to that. be weird yeah, and that's tough. Weird. Yeah. Are you ready for it? I don't think you're ever really ready for it because mm. it's like a difficult situation. And Reese, how old are you? I'm um, 15 years old. 15. You've lowered the age, haven't you, this year? What's the thinking behind that? Because if you go on YouTube now, there's so many people, 14, 15, you know, 16, you know, posting stuff, doing really well. Don't think you can ignore that any longer. And actually, some of the 15-year-olds and stuff we've had in have been great. Cos now I've got you in my space I won't let go, yeah Cheryl's got a bit of an issue with it. She thinks they're too young, but it's like, you know, what's the difference between 15, 16? Not much. And would you get upset with her if she didn't want to put someone through because she thought that they couldn't cope with it when the talent was clearly there? Yeah. Well, she'd be overruled because mm. it's four judges. And has yeah. been several times. Yeah. And will be again. <laughs> <laughs> but format changes aren't the only challenges facing the X Factor team. I mean, having his high on his back comes with its own complications. He starts very late. But is he doing this on purpose? I'm hearing no, he likes to... he's just nocturnal, so right. he doesn't go, he'll go home and then he'll go to sleep at some stupid time and then he'll get up. And Because, you know, he starts late means we start late. Are you here because you, you want to be or are you here because you feel like you have to be to an extent? What is it, three or four years? There's something about this show, this country, it does find great people and it attracts great people. So that's the buzz of doing it. Yeah. My main job, Jeff, is I run a record label. So, you know, I'm obviously interested who comes through uh, the show. And, you know, they've done a good job while I was away, particularly with Ella Henderson. I wish you luck in life and go. She came sixth on the show. She would have won it if I'd been on it that year. single ghost was of course one of the hottest hits of the summer but back at the X Factor even though it's August I've had rumors that when the auditions began there were some frosty relationships between the judges I wonder if they've started to thaw out at all and here's a little reminder of how well Louis and Cheryl have gelled in the past I really have enjoyed getting to know you and Louis there's time yet for you to get to know who she is she just needs a chance hey, to I have an it. opinion Cheryl it's not all about you all right. <laughs> There's meant to be a bit of a frost between Louis and, and Cheryl. Have you seen any I th I, signs I think of that? That's the most likely area of conflict. This could be your last week in the competition, and it's not my fault, it's Cheryl's fault. Thankfully, I've got Mel right next to us. Mm. She laughs most of the day. I do. She's got to stop distracting us. I do. So I don't even really notice Louis sometimes. But you don't really see it now. It's when you get to the studio, then, then, then the handbags come out. They do. That's my favourite bit. <laughs> Oh, talking of handbags, let's talk about fashion, because it's obviously something that all three of us know a huge amount about. They don't look convinced, but we'll plough on. I know that, obviously, you're going to do the X Factor, you need to be looking really good. How much pressure is there on you? I don't feel pressure. I love clothes, obviously. Mm. I like to feel nice when I'm on TV, but it's not like a priority of mine for the uh, show. And Mel, you obviously got it right today. Well, wearing the white you're and blue memo. <laughs> no, I'm not, no. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just saying that if you if you were to look at what we're both busting out, there's obviously 
a memo that was flying around that's like blue and white is good. What happens uh, if you guys turn up in the same outfit like you and I have today? I would, I would find that funny. In oh, fact, we nearly did the other day. You had orange on yeah. and I was going to put on an orange dress and I opted for black. Twinkle, twinkle. Finally, since Simon was last on The X Factor, there has been a major change in his life. So we've seen pictures on Twitter of him bathing baby Eric, which is very, very cute. Yeah. Is he going soft? I think he's been softer for the last few years, even when, you know, he hasn't been here for three years, but even his last year or so, this whole Mr Nasty thing's a little bit of a misnomer. But then again, I've seen him, you know, he's still brutally honest, so he's the cow we need him to be. And from Simon Snaps to one for my album. But let's finish with Simon's surprising take on parenthood. So how's Eric and how are you find him being a parent? He's doing good. It's not difficult. It's not difficult? No. We, we've seen you in the, in the bath, bathing him. Done that. What was he in? A mm. little lily pad? A what? No, no, I don't know, it's this floating it? thing he was in. It's, well, it's good it floats. But yeah, it's, yeah well, very, I had to. Just in case you slip <laughs> or anything. But you're enjoying it? Yeah, doing great. You look like a great... And I've got my dogs now as well. Yeah. Uh, Have you two heard dogs. about these dogs? Squidly and Diddly. He loves these Who dogs. Hasn't? Love them. Wonderful. Love Guys, good luck with the series. We'll be watching with interest. Thank you very much. Jeff, are you going to sing? Cheers. No, not one. No, don't blame me. Thank you very much. <laughs>